Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp and welcome to The Daily Mix. Hope you had a super terrific weekend. Now you might remember back in March, I had a guy on the show, his name was Jason Lacavoli, and he was doing something called Cruise in Limburg. The first one happened to be in March. There was another one a little bit later in the summer. Well, the last one of the whole season is coming up this Saturday. So I wanna remind you about all the fun that happens. Basically, it's a whole bunch of friends or make new friends. You can come without a car, or if you have a fancy muscle car, hot rod, motorcycle, literally whatever you want to bring. Even if you have an army vehicle, you can bring that out there to Cruise in Limburg. And you can just kind of roll up and down Limburg in the South County area. Plus there are a few businesses that are kind of in on this. There's gonna be a trunk or treat, which is absolutely my favorite. Uh, last year I took my niece and my nephew to the trunk or treat that Cruise in Limburg had, and they got a ton of candy. And of course they all like cars because we like cars. So they had a blast. So if you have kids that love cars, there's a trunk or treat. If you yourself just like cars or wanna make new friends or just wanna sit alone on the side and watch cool cars go up and down. The first one was a huge turnout. The second one was a great turnout despite it being 100 degrees. So I think this one on Saturday, even though it's the Blues home opener, is going to have a huge turnout as well. You can find me on South Lindbergh with Cruz and Lindbergh. If you want more information, just follow them on Facebook. Now, all right, get this. So I've been in the selfie room before in St. Louis. It was a ton of fun. That's where they have different places where you can take your photo, you know, kind of a neat little room setting and kind of make different kind of looks. And I mean, it's great for people who use it as like an Instagram model, I'm not that. Or it's just great for people who wanna goof off and have fun and take some cool photos. Well, recently they had their snake day. They do this about once or twice a year. And yeah, snakes. What I love about that photo is that you can see the pure terror in my face when the snake starts to just do whatever the snake wanted to do. I've seen snakes before, I've actually held one before, but this one was small enough to kind of wrap itself around my neck scare me a little bit. See, I look like I know what I'm doing in that one. Not so much. It was a great time. So later on in the show, I'm gonna take you to my selfie room adventure. Do the snakes try to kill me? I mean, I'm obviously here, so I didn't die, but do they try to kill me? You'll have to find out later. Let's get started on today's Daily Mix. Well, by now, you know that the Cardinals, they're out of the playoffs. They, they actually lost both the first two games in the wild card round. Really, really sad for me. I also work for the St. Louis Cardinals hosting up in the Budweiser Terrace. So it's really a sad day for me overall, but you know, it's Yachty and Albert Pujols' last year. And so there was a lot of fanfare that went along with them leaving, but I think we all kind of thought they were gonna make it farther in the playoffs. Obviously, if you were writing this for a movie, they would have went all the way to the World Series and won that, but that is not what happened. And Friday's game, they had the lead all the way till the ninth, and then the wheels just totally fell off the bus. Mistakes were made, pitchers that sh probably should not have been pitching were pitching. It was just a bad day, right? And then on Saturday, well, they couldn't, they couldn't score a run, and if you can't score a run, you're probably not gonna win the game. So. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens next year. Obviously, the Cardinals need to address their pitching. They're losing Yachty, who has been, I mean, everybody keeps saying a captain of the team, even though there's no captain in baseball. So it'll be kind of interesting to see where the game goes. STL Today had an article on the whole situation and talking to some players. Paul Goldschmidt, he basically takes responsibility for it. When asked, he basically says, I didn't do my job. You can check that out in stltoday.com to see the rest of that. But it is sad. It's so sad that the Cardinals are over. I love it when the Cardinals are into the playoffs when the Blues start their home opener, but that's not gonna be the case this year. It's like the Cardinals paused just in time for hockey to start because you know that's happening this weekend. The St. Louis Blues will open their season this Saturday at the Enterprise Center against the Columbus Blue Jackets. If you want more 
interesting Blues news. Ian Cole, who used to be a member of the St. Louis Blues, no longer is. He was just recently suspended from the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm not going to tell you why. It's not really appropriate for me to talk about right now. I, it's not, I'm not involved, but you should probably go check that out because it's an interesting factoid. Just Google search him. You'll find it. He's been suspended. It'll be interesting if that's true or not. It was posted by an anonymous person, so it's, you never can tell. Anyway, back to hockey. Even if you don't have a ticket to the Blues home opener, you can still get in on the pregame fun at the St. Louis Blues and get this St. Louis Union Station's 2022 opening night. Now they're gonna have a rally. It's gonna start at three. Fans can enjoy live music, kid-friendly activities, appearances by Blues broadcasters, Tom Stillman and Al McGinnis as well, plus Louie, the Blue Crew, and I would imagine their new in-game host. I used to love the Blues pep rally. It used to happen right outside, and there would be a big stage, and there would be a band, and we'd play games. Really a ton of fun. In fact, just over the weekend at the Cardinals game, somebody came up to me who had a picture of me at the Blues when he was like up to my thigh, and now he was up to here. So. That's always fun when stuff like that happens. It's going to be interesting to see how they can get Louie, though, from the arena all the way to the St. Louis Union Station without causing a ruckus on the street. Because I would imagine a lot of people are going to try to stop Louie on the street. I'm guessing he takes a car. Somebody find out and tell me. Now, of course, this all leads up to their season opener at 7 p.m. And that's also when the Blues will announce the inaugural class of the new St. Louis Blues Hall of Fame. Now, we already know 10 of the inductees will include all eight of the players who had their numbers retired, plus the original owner, Sid Solomon Jr. By the way, my grandfather played pickup games with him, and legendary broadcaster Dan Kelly. But fans also had a chance to vote and have their voices heard, and will learn the fan pick at the game as well. I'm also interested to know if the fan pick is actually the fan pick, or if it's somebody they already picked and then we're going to tell the fans that's who they'll pick. But we'll know that when they reveal that, that you can find out more about all of this at the Hall of Fame upcoming games and all things blues online at stlouisblues.com. Go there, find out all your information. Now, you love a Taco Tuesday, right? What can be better than a Taco Tuesday? Well, how about a Taco Week? The St. Louis Taco Week is back this week with unbeatable taco specials all week long you can download the Taco Week app and take a journey through St. Louis full of soft tacos, hard tacos, dessert tacos. Sign me up for a dessert taco. That looks delicious and so much more. The app has a map with all of the Taco Week restaurants and their specials, plus exclusive contests with great prizes where you can find Taco Man and the Taco Week street team photo ops and more. I'm going to be searching for Taco Man now. St. Louis Taco Week runs October 10th through the 16th. That's right now. Go get your taco on. You can learn more at stltacoweek.com. The transportation of tomorrow can be seen today at the National Museum of Transportation. With speeds up to 670 miles per hour, the Virgin Air Hyperloop has the potential to reduce travel times from hours to just minutes. Now, you might not be boarding anytime soon, which is really unfortunate because I really want to ride this thing. I want to take this to Nashville so much because I'd rather do that than drive five hours. But you can see this in person where it's on display at the museum. It's actually on loan from the Smithsonian Institute Futures Exhibit. You can encounter the Pegasus in full 360 degrees, see the futuristic interior, and learn more about the technology behind it. I'm really excited for this. I would hope they would just move this along. Uh, the Virgin Hyperloop's Pegasus Pod is on display in the Education and Visitor Center at the National Museum of Transportation right now. You can plan your visit to the museum at tnmot.org. I think it's going to be a ton of fun, and I think we should all Try to learn how to do that. I also feel like if they get this working, they can get time travel working. And if you know me, you know all I want to do is go back in time. Now, whether you're looking for fall family fun or a unique night out, the Butterfly House has you covered. This October, all month long, it will be transformed into Booterfly House. Get it? Booterfly House. It's featuring a daily story time, 
bewitching bugs, butterflies, the creepy crawly cave, and more. But this weekend, they have something special just for the grown-ups, Wicked Wings and Wine. This Wicked Good Time features local brews and wines, owl butterflies, and other animal friends from the World Bird Sanctuary, a torch-lit stroll through the native butterfly garden, and bites from the bug chef, if you dare. The bug chef, I like this guy. Wicked Wings and Wine is set for this Friday from 5.30 to 7.30. For tickets and more information about all of their events this month, go to butterflyhouse.org. STL TV's very own Draco is back this weekend with a concert that promises to be a great time. We're not just talking about live music. No, there's gonna be so much more than that. There's gonna be premium giveaways, free massage demos, local vendors, and a chance to win a shopping trip to Sanctioned Shoe Collective. Sign me up for some shoes, you guys. It's going to be a night you won't wanna miss. Draco will be live in concert this Saturday night at Hot Java Bar on Manchester. Tickets are available on Metrotix, and you can keep up on all the details by following Draco on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, after a two-year hiatus, Frights and Heights also returns this weekend to the Gateway Arch. You guys, when I saw this, I was so excited, but you need a kid to go, I think. I mean, it would be weird, I think, if you go by yourself. So definitely check this out. All right, this spectacular evening features a haunted tram ride to the top of the arch, freaky face painting, I love both of those things, balloon animals, I love balloon animals, freaky fudge, you know I love fudge, creepy crafts, a DJ dance party, puppet shows where Lewis and Clark share some spooky and true stories from their trails. So much fun. Every child will also receive a free ticket for a one hour riverfront cruise, candy and other prizes. I'm so excited for this. I need to borrow a child. Family friendly costumes are encouraged. Frights and Heights is set for this Saturday, October 15th at the Gateway Arch. For tickets and more information, go to gatewayarch.com slash Halloween. You know I got a little good Halloween and you know where I love taking good photos. I mentioned earlier, I checked out the selfie room. I've done it before. This time I did it and they had snakes involved. And of course you saw that photo of me in pure terror with the snakes. So I'm gonna let you check out my whole adventure. Vote now. Do the snakes try to kill me or not? Weigh it. Check it out. Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp, and I have the owner and operator of the Selfie Room, Miss Krista, here with me. Now, I've been to the Selfie Room before, and I had a great time. You weren't here, right. and everything's different now. Yes. We change our exhibits quarterly, so since the last time you were here in 2020, we have 100% new exhibits because we flip them out all the time. Oh my gosh, so. I love that. So right now, you kind of have a little fall theme going on? Yep. So as you can tell, we're in our spooky room, which is our library, which we've kind of added some spooky elements to to make it more fall but we change out some of the more seasonal ones for more holiday kind of events coming up. So in November, we're even changing them out for Christmas. So we're oh. gonna have 10 new exhibits then as well. So we do about half of our exhibits every quarter and change them out. Today I'm here because it's Snake Day. Right, we have a special event It's with Snake Day. Exotic ARC, which is Amphibian Reptile Center, is coming in. This is our fourth year in a row doing this. So they're bringing in snakes for our customers to interact with, learn, hold, pose, and take epic spooky photos with. It's a really fun event. It's not only educational, people face their fears while they're here, yeah. but they also get to like handle and hold the snakes that they've maybe never held before. So what other kind of events like Snake Day do you have coming up down the line? Yeah, so we're doing a costume cosplay party. We're actually partnering with Slice Pint across the street for everyone that brings in a ticket from the selfie room across the street to Slice Pint. They'll get an upgrade in their package for their Halloween party. And then we also do dog days. We'll do one in the Christmas holiday, kind of seasonal winter season. So you'll be able to get like family photos with your dog. With your dog. With your dog. Nice. Everybody Dogs loves have that. their own Instagram content too. They need to constantly create content. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. Yeah. There's so many friends of mine whose dogs have their own page. My dog has her own page. 
<laughs> well, but of course, you have, you own the selfie room. Of course, your I dog know. has the she's, old face. She's here all the time. She takes pictures here all the time. So she's kind of my dog model, but a lot of the time. But. I love that. So how can somebody keep up to date with what's coming up? Yeah. I mean, I know like you're changing out the rooms and everything, and that's alone cool. But what if they're looking for that extra little fun? So we post all of our events on Instagram and Facebook, but we also post things on Google as well. It's a event right. We put them everywhere. So anytime you want to follow and keep up to date with us, Instagram is probably the most accurate, convenient place yeah. for us. That'll be where you keep up to date the most. But we do Facebook, Instagram, Google, Yelp, Bing, Eventbrite. We put it everywhere. I'm excited to see the snakes come too. Yes. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of snakes, but I'm, I'm down. Ooh. So it's going to be fun. So start you off with some of the smaller snakes. Yeah. snakes. That's you know a really good place to start. Just ones that you can hold in your hand. Yeah. Versus the Britney Spears moment where you have the big boa. But I really think that's what everybody's going to want. And we've got like 12 snakes coming today. Okay. So. 12 snakes. And do you already know how many people are coming? We have about 30 to 40 people coming today. So awesome. it's going to be a busy day. So it's going to be a really busy day with a lot of people who love snakes. Or just want to face their fears, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, all right, give all that information one more time on where they can sure. follow yeah. the selfie room. So the selfie room is the self, the selfie room STL, as in St. Louis. We can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch. We're everywhere. Definitely check that out, and I'm gonna go explore some of this awesomeness that's here. Okay, which one's this called? This is her. Georgia. Georgia! Hi, Ge Georgia. Georgia. Oh, Hi, Georgia. Okay, how does one. You always grab from the, from the middle. Okay. You grab from the middle. It helps support them a little better. Okay. And then she'll do the rest. She'll do whatever else she wants yep. to do. Okay. Sorry. So I've got, a, I've got a snake in my hand. See, look, I look so much more. I look so much more confident, right? Okay, so we're gonna pretend I'm Barbie snake or snake Barbie or. You know, something about, what would that be called with the Barbie? All right, you ready? Barbie snake. Oh, <laughs> did you lick me on the face? Yeah, there we go. See, that's kind of cute, right? Is that cute or am I wrong? Okay. Okay, so this snake is just kind of doing whatever it wants to do here. This is not exactly the sexy Britney Spears-ish thing I was thinking it was gonna, because they're so hard to do, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. I like, and then you can do the little. Got a snake over, no, he's gonna kill me. Okay, cool. Please don't kill me. I'm a human. Oh, okay, now I'm dead. Hi, I'm dead, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Look, he's doing his own thing, but it's fine. <laughs> I think he's, I think he's gonna kill me. <laughs> you brought in the snakes. Yes. You work at Exotic ARC, what is that? It stands for Amphibian Reptile Center. Okay, and so what do you do there? What do I do there? Mm -hmm. So I take care of like all the breeder snakes down in the basement. There's like over a thousand different snakes down there. And I'm sorry, it sounds like a nightmare. There's a thousand different snakes in the basement, but okay. <laughs> so my job is to make sure they're all fed and get the proper nutrition and diet. Plus I clean all their bins and keep them healthy for breeding. I mean, it looks awesome in your hand. I'm not touching oh, yeah. this one. So I did pet it, and this one was rougher than the other one. Yes, ma'am. So what kind of snakes did you bring here today for a snake day at the selfie room? At the selfie room. So I brought this this young lady right here, mm -hmm. and she is a file snake. And then I have also brought two different types of boas. Those are got, the big ones. Those are the big guys. Okay. I also have um, a Mexican pine snake. I've got a couple different ball pythons, and I brought a king snake and a scaleless rat snake. 
And you brought these steaks because you know these steaks are pretty nice, Nate. Yes. yes. Okay. And they're used to being handled and they're used to being around people. So see, this is how you do it. Okay, I figured it out. I can't be standing and hold the snake, but I can be sitting and let the snake do whatever it wants to do because I feel very comfortable right now that I'm not going to die. Uh, now, where are you going? I don't want you to go, no, we don't want to go back that way. We don't want to go this way. Can you grab him? You know how you sometimes lounge in your bathtub with your snake? You do ever do that? No. <laughs> but I mean, this one, okay, this one I feel less like I'm gonna die. Like even if she like started to like constrict, you know what I'm saying? Like the other one, I was a little petrified that I actually could die. But this one, is she still there? I don't see her, there she is. What are you doing? See, which one, what's the name of this one? Pedro, me and Pedro in the bathtub. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just standing here and she tried to buy the snake already. Okay, so you came here because it was snake day. Yes, I, I love snakes. I have three of them, two ball pythons and a corn snake. And so you just wanted to come take some photos with the new snakes and then try to purchase the snake from her? Yeah, that was kind of an afterthought. <laughs> I've been looking for some big snakes. and. <laughs> well, well, this one's definitely big, and you came in with a lot of confidence that I did not have when I had the snake around my neck. So is that because you know how to handle a snake? I'm also from a desert, so like my lack of um, self-preservation is kind of low. <laughs> okay. So she's just really good. So you, you got the selfie set up. This looks really good. You got the snake around you. I'm, I'm gonna move out of the way and let you do your thing with the snake. I feel like that's what all the Victoria's Secret models do. <laughs> I feel like that's a good look, right? Again, no one's telling me how to pose. I need, I need, that's what I need. I need to hire a professional model to come with us next time and do all like the model things because I don't know what to do. It's not always snake day here in a selfie room, but it's always a ton of fun. So we've got all sorts of different rooms. You can play around in here, take your photos, have a great time. You definitely need to follow them on all their social media channels so you know what's going on and can figure out what rooms they have. Great place for a birthday, maybe some wedding photos, maybe even some divorce photos. Always a great time here. After you follow them on social media, make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can drop us a line at The Daily Mix. We do want to hear from you. That's going to do it for The Daily Mix. We keep it right here on STL TV. Experience St. Louis.